David, uh, Mark, I watched you and your new best friend. I got a lot of best friends, David. There's a long list of them. Uh, Steve Days in the Bigger Ten podcast, uh, the team up north. He has rated to have a more talented roster in than Ohio State in the 22 season. He also mentioned that to me. Uh, what, what are your thoughts about that? So uh, I'll set you guys up with this. I, I think it's pretty common perspective on the Michigan status going into 2022 that they lost obviously arguably the best pass rusher in the nation and his sidekick on the other side Daxton Hill tremendous player at safety Brad Hawkins as well at safety a really good player of course Hassan Haskins their workload guy up front uh, that gained all the tough yardage and gained whatever 1500 yards plus a couple offensive linemen so that Michigan was a senior oriented team and lost most of its leadership and productivity. But I guess based on the numbers, I'm being told that that's not necessarily the case. <laughs> Is it because of returning X amount of their production? I don't, I don't understand. I, I, I don't understand. I've talked with Steve in the past from, from his podcast. So I, you know, I'm not going to sit there and put somebody that I know on blast, but I fail to, I don't I don't understand how he is able to get to that conclusion based on what Ohio State is returning versus what Michigan is returning. Um, yeah, that's something. Well, I know and he does like actual data and charts everything and see you know the amount of returners and, and all of that, but you know, like we do a, on Buckeye Weekly Podcast, every summer we'll do a tale of the tape and just compare Ohio State to Michigan and which position are you taking? Are you taking the Ohio State quarterback this year or are you taking a Michigan quarterback this year? I think we're all taking the Ohio State quarterback. You look at the running backs. It's, it's Travion Henderson and Mayan Williams against Blake Corum and Donovan Edwards. Travion Henderson outperformed Blake Corum last year. Mayan Williams was a starting quarter, starting running back at Ohio State at one point. Donovan Edwards caught the ball quite a bit last year. Like, do you want to toss that up? Sure. Uh, whatever. Michigan returns a bunch of receivers, but they're all like above average. Are you are you taking Michigan's receivers over Ohio State's receivers with Jackson Smith and Jigba? Uh, with Emeka Ibuka, with, with Marvin Harrison, who are not yet proven, but it's kind of a plug and play situation. Tight ends, okay. Michigan, you can have that one. Offensive line, Michigan loses some, Ohio State keeps some, you know, like, is that a toss? Defensive line, are you taking the Michigan defensive line that lost their two best players? I doubt it. You know, Ohio State returns a bunch on defensive line. Linebackers, you know, Michigan loses their top linebacker, their top tackler in James Ross. Ohio State pretty much returns everybody and brings in two of the top linebackers in the nation in, in from the recruiting class. Secondary, are you taking Ohio State's corners? I am. Are you taking Ohio State's safeties? I, I, you know, maybe, maybe not. But uh, I think just running through that real quickly, special teams, everybody returns everybody. Like both teams return their guys, and, and Michigan special teams really, really good, maybe the best special teams in the nation. But uh, I don't, you know, I'd be interested to, I, I guess I'll have to seek out his his information on that. I think. Just real quickly there, just checking the list, I think that was more Ohio State than, than Michigan. But receivers don't play against the receivers. Linebackers don't play against the linebackers. This may not date well, but uh, my guess on the future of this series is that it's going to be something modified to what we saw over the last 15 to 20 years, meaning that statistically it's difficult for Ohio State to keep up the pace in this series but that it'll maybe scale back to a 70 to 75% Ohio state winning percentage. And, and of course we have no idea who's going to be coaching these teams and what could be happening 10 years from now, but in the, in the near future that Ohio state's recruiting and developing and performing at a top three to four level in the country and Michigan still, uh, albeit give them all the credit in the world for what happened the last Saturday in Ann Arbor and in the Big Ten championship game is more in the 12 to 15 range in the country. And that's a it's a decided difference. And Ohio State's a better football program today and for the foreseeable future. Yeah, I, I would agree with you. I mean, 
what what they did was abnormal, you know, to win what seventeen out of nineteen years, whatever that was in the two thousands and the twenty tens, or I don't know, however, I guess starting in two thousand and one. So yeah, I think I think that was a little bit abnormal, and uh, I don't know that it's going to get back to fifty fifty anytime soon, but you know, maybe 70, 30, something like that, you know, where Michigan might win three times every 10 years. I don't know. Again, I have seen nothing since the day that game was played to indicate that, that Michigan is going to do this again anytime soon. So, you know, uh, everything, every trending way you want to look at this, it has gone, you know, against them, you know, and, and it, well, who or what is to say that they hire somebody after Jim Harbaugh, who is actually really, really good at this and gets players to go to school there who haven't been going to school there and knows what to do offensively and defensively and like is competent. And, you know, not, not, I'm not dumping on Harbaugh. I'm just saying that I don't think he's done a very good job there. And, you know, I think he's a good football coach. I mean, you don't, luck your way into the Super Bowl by accident. You don't win, you know, BCS major bowl games at Stanford by accident. I mean, those things happened for a reason. And, uh, you know, he, he's good in, in some respects, but, you know, he hasn't been great by any stretch. I mean, no stretch. So, um, you know, where Ohio State's had some real rock stars when you come right down to it with Trestle and Meyer and Day. So, you know, that's my way of looking at it. I, I don't think they're any closer today to doing this again than, you know, they were last year at this time, really. But 